What's up guys? Today's video is going to be a little bit different, totally unscripted. So here's the deal. I was going through my shoes trying to figure out what I wanted to keep and what I wanted to give away. I've got some gaps in my shoe arsenal and I've got some stuff that I need to get rid of. Let's chat about shoes for just a few minutes. Let me show you what I've got. Um, let me talk about what I don't have and maybe let's kind of cover some ground with some of the basic fundamental shoes that every guy needs in their 40s. Are you ready? Hold on tight. What's up, fellas? It's great to see you, and as always, I'm glad that you're here. So listen, let's take this by category and break this down a little bit. I'm gonna show you what I've got in boots, sneakers, and dress shoes, and you're gonna see that I've got some gaps, and I've got some redundancy here as well. So let's talk boots first. Let's go over what I've got here. So first of all, I've got these, which I love. These are Wolverine 1,000 Mile boots. I love these. These are kind of your leather jacket, dark denim, sort of that bad boy boot. They've got a little bit of a heel on them. Uh, nice classy sole, nothing fancy down there, but the more you wear these, the better they get. I think I've had these for about six years. Love these things. Next up, I've got these Chukka boots from Cole Haan. Uh, nice classic sole, a little bit of a heel to them, this sort of dark chocolate brown. Super comfortable, really versatile. Jeans, chinos, Mix it up, you can wear these things with just about anything. Next, I've got these chukka boots in this uh, kind of sand color. A little bit of a heel to it. It's got this gum sole. I think it's a gum sole. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, these are, gosh, oh, Kenneth Cole. I bought these on a whim. I forgot where I was, but I bought these on a whim. I don't wear them a ton, but when I do wear them, I try to go with either like a, um, a lighter dark denim or any type of chinos work really great with these. Next up, and so this is where I start to run into a little bit of redundancy. So I've got these chukka boots as well in a similar dark brown as the Cole Haan. These are uh, a lot lower end. These are from Aldo. They look great. They've got a little bit of a heel. They've got a waffle sole on them. They're comfortable, but it just, when I go and pick this type of boot, I always grab the Cole Haan. I really never wear this. Next up are some casual brown boots. Love these in the winter and fall. Absolutely love these. I've had these for, again, five or six years. These are from Aldo. I think they were 100 bucks or something like that, $120 maybe. No real heel to them. A waffle sole that's almost wore out. I wear these a ton. Fantastic with jeans, phenomenal. Another boot from Aldo are these. I don't wear these as much as the other brown ones I just showed you. I do like the detail though on these. I do like the heel. They've got the same waffle sole. Really good looking boot. They've got some distressing on the toe. I just don't wear these as much, but I do wear them. They tend to go a little bit better for me anyway with dark denim. Okay, let's move into sneakers. Let me get the athletic sneakers out of the way first. I've had these Merrells. These are like, if I'm gonna go like on a hike or something, these are what I go for. I've had these for a long time. So I don't know if these are even still a thing anymore. Don't give me too much grief about that. Uh, but I like them. They're super lightweight. They've got a good tread on the bottom of them. Yeah, I'm gonna wear these if I go hiking. Next up are my Nike, what are these? The running shoes. Uh, picked these up at Nordstrom Rack. Super, super lightweight, very flexible, really nice, really comfortable. Running, walking, biking, I'm wearing these. Okay, let's go into a little bit of a dressy sneaker, if you can call it that. More of a, an upscale fashion sneaker, if you will. These are uh, the Grand Pro from Cole Haan. You guys have seen me talk about these in other videos. You've seen me wear these in photos on Instagram. I love these things. They're very lightweight. They're very comfortable. This blue color is super, super versatile. I wear these things all the time. I recommend these highly. Next up are these brown and white shoes from Echo. I like these a lot. I like them more when I first got them than I do today. I just find I don't reach for these as much as I used to when I first got them. Maybe because it's summertime now and I'm wearing shorts a lot, it's so stinking hot outside, that I'm, maybe I just find that these aren't as versatile. You would think that they would be being this brown color, but I'm finding that I'm wearing either white or the blue Cole Hans more than these. 
Okay, so what you guys are about to see is a white sneaker problem. I didn't realize the depth of the problem that I have with white sneakers until I put them all out on the table together. Anyway, guys, let's try to get through it. First up, the Greats brand. I did a blog post about these. Uh, I'll try to link to that somewhere in this video up above somewhere. Love these shoes, Italian leather inside, fully lined leather inside, gorgeous, gorgeous shoe. Kind of a higher end shoe, not as expensive as for example, like a Common Projects, but in the same playing field. I think these were about 225, something in that ballpark. Next up, guys, uh, you saw these. These are familiar if you watched my uh, white sneaker uh, video. These are a, a shoe I picked up at DSW on a whim. I think they were 60 bucks. I actually wear these more than I thought. Um, super comfortable. If I'm just gonna run around town real quick, I will throw these on. The next shoe is a really recent purchase. I got these from Aldo. I was surprised at how much I'm wearing these. They've got some brown detail on them. They've got a brown heel back here. Really sleek styling. I like that. I like this profile. Very comfortable. I wear these a ton. Next up are my Lacoste. I love these. Actually, before I say I love these shoes, I love these shoes and I hate these shoes. I want to like these more than I do. The problem is that there's like this seam on the inside back here and my heel rubs on it and it actually breaks the skin, which sucks because these are super, super classic with no show socks and shorts, a phenomenal summertime shoe. I've even gone so far as to put that, those little moleskin strips back here. It still doesn't work. I don't know what to do. Next up are these Converse Jack Purcell. I need to wash these. These are all canvas. Again, I think you guys saw these in my other video I did with white sneakers. Go check that out. Like these shoes, super versatile. Again, a nice summertime classic kick around beach shoe. Next up are these really low end Keds that I got. Super flexible, super comfortable. I like the gum sole, nice touch. Canvas, I can throw these in the washer and the dryer, bleach them out a little bit when they get dirty. I do have a hard time keeping the toe area clean though, even with bleach and regular washing. Okay, now we're getting into the dress shoes and I have a lot of brown and this is where I have a big gap in my shoe arsenal. I don't own any black dress shoes. The last pair that I had, I ruined. So those are long gone. I need to get some black shoes. Tell me what I need to get. Leave me a comment down below and recommend something for me. Listen, so let me start with these, not a real dress shoe but these are uh, blue suede double monks. These are from Nordstrom. It's their house brand called Calibrate. I've had these for a couple of years. I don't wear these all the time, but I do get some good wear out of them. It's kind of a statement shoe. So if you're kind of feeling that, uh, that's when I'll pull these out. Okay, next is another kind of a statement shoe. It's a little bold. Uh, it's a cool color, not real expensive. I kind of bought these on a whim because I liked the design. I was drawn to it. Single monk with broguing, with the wingtip. It's kind of, it's, it's definitely a statement shoe. You've got to be wearing the right outfit to pull these off, but everything else kind of has to be subdued. But if you're feeling like you want to make a statement with your shoes, definitely try to pick something like this up. Nice design, comfortable. And these are from Carucci. I'm not sure who that is, but not a bad looking shoe. Next up, these are my worker shoes. I wear these things all the freaking time. Dark brown, double monk strap, Nordstrom brand, Calibrate, rubber sole, extremely, extremely comfortable. I can be in these all day long and not have a problem. They don't hurt my feet at all. Nordstrom, you hit it out of the park with this thing. Next up, I've got the Magnani hand painted double monks with the leather sole really popular, really versatile shoe. I see these things everywhere. I think almost every guy, most every guy though has these. If you don't like, and if you don't have a pair of double monks, this is a great one to get started with. These go great with jeans. You can dress these up. You can dress these down. They are comfortable. They're not super cheap. They're around the three, $350 ballpark, uh, but really good quality, fantastic shoe. Next up, I have another one from Magnani. These are the single monk. These though have the rubber sole, not the leather sole. They are comfortable. However, the toe box is a little more narrow than the double monk uh, Magnani's that I have. So if I wear these for a long period of time, 
they do tend to get a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe if my feet swell up a little bit, the toe, my toes get a little crowded here. But really nice looking shoe, lots of compliments on this one. Distressing at the toe, not bad. Next, we have the Old Faithful, Allen Edmonds Strand in brown, cap toe, medallion brogue, leather sole, some of the most comfortable dress shoes you could ever own. Cork bed sole, made in the USA. You can resole these when the soles wear out. Like these are my go-to. If I'm just, they're not like a dressy dress shoe, but they're kind of somewhere in between. So like if I'm gonna wear jeans somewhere and I wanna elevate that look like a jeans dress shirt sport coat, these all day long, man, all day long. If you don't have a pair of Allen Edmonds in your arsenal, I highly recommend you invest in a pair. I've had these for four or five years. I do take care of them, but they still look phenomenal. I try to keep some polish on them. I try to, I, I do use shoe trees in pretty much everything that I own. Guys, they're not the cheapest shoe on the market, but I think they're around the $350 to $400 ballpark. Guys, if you can swing it, I highly recommend investing in some Allen Edmonds. Next up are my more luxurious shoes. The next three pair are from Paul Evans. Uh, these are my blue penny loafers. Maybe you've seen these in the video that I did featuring Paul Evans. Designed in New York, made in Naples, Italy, Italian leather, inside and out. They sell direct to the consumer so you save money. These are like an $800 pair of shoes you can get for like 350, 400 bucks. Really comfortable. Guys, check out Paul Evans. These are another pair of Paul Evans, these chocolate brown Oxfords. Nice cap toe design here. Fantastic shoe, super elegant, really comfortable. And these are some Paul Evans shoes that I just bought recently. I haven't even worn these outside yet. Look at the sole on these things. Holy smokes. These are brand new. These are whole cut, but it's one solid piece of leather all the way around, guys. This is absolutely phenomenal. Very classy, very, very elegant. I need to find an excuse to wear these, but it's been so stinking hot that I don't wear suits right now. Wow. Yeah, phenomenal. I gotta wear these. Guys, so again, I need your help with the black dress shoes. Tell me some brands, leave me some comments, and let me know who I need to look at as far as black dress shoes go. If I haven't said it already, please subscribe. If you like this kind of casual men's lifestyle, men's style content for me, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumb up button because it all really helps this channel grow. Guys, let me know what you think of the overall shoe collection, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.